Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today the robot lawnmower is um, is acting up um, not really the lawnmower that is okay but the power for it uh, I have been wanting to do this for a while so today is just today that we start the video in here we have the battery charger the windmill and the solar panels come in here they charge this battery up here a big 12 volt battery 95 amp hours and that power is converted um, from 12 volt to 220 30 volts AC and then it's converted down to um, 24 volts which the lawnmower uses but this setup uses way too much power so my little 50 watt solar panel is not able to keep up here is the panel oh it's upside down ah. here is the panel it's pretty old but it's a 50 watt but it's a 50 watt and it gives out about 16.1 volt or 14.2 volt dc so yeah i could of course just put on some more solar panels but i could also try to um, get rid of this and that's the thought that i was going through uh, this morning when I came out, it, uh, the inverter here was beeping for low power. So let's see that. So I put up the multimeter here. Let's see the power on the battery. We are at 11.40 volts. Um, I think this goes down to about 10.8 volts before it, it goes into uh, bad mode and it doesn't want to work with me anymore and stuff like that I'm sure we can turn it on and it will it will work just fine and it does because right now the the battery has charged enough to bring it up but 11.4 volts is way lower than it's nice so but we could measure how much power this takes how much power that we are pulling out of the battery now that it's running so let's go to amps and see how much power oh, and zero that out zero and see how much power goes so it's pulling just about one amp that's uh, 12 volt one amp that means it's about it's about 12 watts of power going that way and it's not a very sunny day so that is probably draining the battery that's not a lot, but I don't turn this off at night. That means that this system will be draining the battery with 12 watts day and night. Also, when the lawnmower is not cutting the grass and not operating, this is just standby power. And it's, it's kind of a waste. So I wanted to see if we could uh, better that. And to do that, I am planning on replacing this box and this box and putting something else instead. Let's go see that. So in the basement here, let's get this multimeter on there. I have this little PCB and um, this is widely available and it's not very expensive at all. So over here I have my power supply and we have um, put that to about 12 volts. It's giving out 12 volts. This is a DC to DC step up converter. So if we put on 12 volts here, I have set that to give out 28 volts. So this means that uh, 12 volt DC comes in this end. It's in this PCB being chopped up and stepped up to 28 volts. Right now it's 28.2 volts. Uh, that's adjustable and there are two variable resistors here and they can be adjusted and you can adjust the, the voltage up or down. Uh, I think this one was the, was the voltage. Oh, that must be the current then. Yeah, this one is the voltage. We can even go higher. 28 volts will be fine. So my idea is to replace those two. The inverter converting from 12 volt to 230 volts and the 
power brick from the lawnmower that then converts it down to 24 volts, which is actually 28 volts if we measure that. We'll go do that. So I need to make this so that it can be connected out there. Uh, I wish I had a box for it. Okay, so measuring the voltage that is coming out from the power supply, they have been so nice to put a little minus here and a little plus here. So we can measure that. And we have, we have just 13 volts coming out of there. That's weird. Let's have the, the robot charging, see what it says then. There. Let's see if we can measure the voltage then. Yeah, now it sees, actually it sees 30 volts, 30.8 volts. That's a lot more than the 28 that I was um, thinking that it would see. Hmm. Okay. So I don't really want to drain the battery any further, so I'm going to turn it off. And outside the lawnmower is complaining. It's going to drive down. It's, it's pissed at me now. I want to go replace all of this, so um, I'll do some of that and, and show you what I come up with. Okay, so out of the power supply over here, I have cut the cable and there's a black and there's a white wire. And I don't know which is plus and which is minus, so we're going to check that. See, it comes on, so I'm going to... Let's guess that minus might be black. Uh, let's see if that's true. Yeah. And it actually supplies 32.34 volts. That's a lot more than I was thinking that it would supply. 32 point, let's just say 32.5 volts. It is supposed to uh, deliver 24 volts to 28 volts. It's way off, but I guess we'll have to um, step up our game. So I have connected this. Uh, the black one was minus and the white one was apparently plus uh, to the PCB. The PCB has a metal, is metal on the back. I have never seen that before. So there is a PCB on top, but it's really a metal aluminium plate. I don't know if this needs any kind of cooling since it's uh, aluminium on the back. It has a nice big uh, surface area to dissipate heat. But um, let's uh, let's try and hook this up. Okay, I've hooked it up, so it should be giving out voltage now. Let's go see the lawnmower. Okay, the lawnmower itself does not know that it has a uh, power back, but over here the charging station is lighting up green, so that is all good. But I think we want to up the voltage to the same voltage that it had before, so like um, 32 and a half volts or 30. 32 must be good enough. Okay, seems we have It's it's hard to get both of it. We have 28 volts coming out of that. So we're gonna up that Which way do I have to turn this? I guess it's the other one There are 32 point that must be fine. Let's see how that works. But the very big thing here is actually, are we using less power? I don't know if you know this, this is a clamp meter. If you put a power lead through this, it can measure the, the power going through that lead. And it, it does that the way that the current moving through here makes a magnetic field and it's able to measure that and convert it over to an, an amperage. So we're gonna zero that out and we're gonna put it around one of the leads, only one of the leads. And now we see that, oh, 0 0.2 of an amp. It's minus 0 0.2, I have it the wrong way around. We could just let it go the right way around and it should be plus. And we would have to zero it out again, okay. Let's uh, zero it out again, there's zero. 
and it's it's roughly 0.2 so this little device is using one-fifth of the power as the previous setup so that's a good thing so i've told the robot to go home we want to see it charging if it will charge red so uh, let's go see how much current that is okay zero that out there i'm just gonna measure it okay so now there is 2.35 amps going in that way that's good and it's stepping up that voltage so we should have considerably less going out this way let's zero that out again Oh, yeah, we have 0 0.7 amps um, going out that way. So it's stepping up the 12 volts, which is actually more like 11 point something volts. As it is stepping up the voltage, the amperage will go down. And that's just how that works. I'm curious if, uh, if this becomes warm and if I'm going to be electrocuted. Doesn't seem like it. So Cool. So there is a current res uh, restrictor or something here. I am able to turn it down, but um, it's about a one amp. It draws about one amp and 32 volts. One amp is about 32 watts. And I guess that's fine. Uh, it doesn't need to be more than that. It doesn't need to be less than that. I wish I had a box for it. So I just sent the robot out to work. So let's see if um, if we are charging or discharging the battery. Um, the charging station here doubles as it sends out a signal on these wires and the robot knows that it has to be in between of these signals. If I shut it off, the robot will stop uh, more or less immediately, uh, discovering that uh, there is no signal. So it will think that it's outside of its uh, area where it's are you gonna cut that cable you stupid fuck okay it didn't cut it but <clears throat> i think i need to improve on that that could be like uh, putting the cable on the other side of this shovel okay yeah okay let's see what the amperage is okay so we take the amp meter and we zero it out again there Let's measure the ball, the amperage going uh, to the robot, and that is about 0 0.25 ish. And the amperage coming in from the solar panels, that's 0 0.5. So right now there is twice the amount of power coming in from the solar panels to the battery than there is from the battery going out to the robot so it's charging the batteries and this has been the problem all along that um, i wasn't able to just keep the robot on it would drain the battery down so yeah this is quite an improvement we can kind of also see it this way and uh, this clamp meter the current has to go that way to uh, to be positive so if we put this up here we can see that there is a positive current going from the system and down to the battery so we are right now charging the battery with about uh, 400 milliamps um, it changes as the sun and the clouds and stuff goes on but it's consuming a lot less power so instead of going out and purchasing a new solar panel like a hundred watt power solar panel I um, I just changed how much the system uses and this way it's way more efficient and the lawnmower will be able to to cut the grass a lot more than it is right now uh, right now i have had to kind of shut it down every second day to have it charge up the battery uh, which i shouldn't have to now i have ordered a new charge controller i have to get out of the way of the little menace here um, I've, I've ordered a new charge controller because I don't think the one I have is very efficient but that's on its way from China and 
well that might just be a couple of more weeks at least maybe three four weeks um, I'm hoping this will improve the charging even more that, and therefore I won't have to think about the lawnmower at all just save it when it has done something stupid out in the garden which it <clears throat> does a lot so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye